He was U.S. drug czar for seven years under President George W. Bush. Now, John Walters is joining the fight against the legalization of marijuana in New Hampshire. I've looked into the eyes of the people who have suffered. I've looked into the eyes of thousands of people who have been victims of substance abuse. It almost always begins with cannabis. And with the cannabis today, it is a, it is a more dangerous and more dependency producing substance. Walters contends that a more relaxed approach to marijuana policy since the end of the Bush administration has only yielded more addiction. When you do the right thing, you make these problems smaller. Um, when you let it go, and unfortunately after we left, there was, a, there was a failure to maintain pressure. There was misinformation given that this isn't really a serious threat. There was an unwillingness to enforce the law. Local supporters of legalization say the former drug czar is making an outdated argument. Former drug czar Walters is here saying the same thing he's been saying for decades, but he's defending policies that have failed our country and that have failed the people of New Hampshire. Pro-cannabis groups began this legislative session with great optimism. Their legalization bill passed the House, but two floor votes showed diminishing support, and opponents in the Senate don't want to rely on just the governor's threatened veto. There's no good that comes out of this. While cannabis legalization is part of the New Hampshire Democratic Party platform, it's possible that Senate Democrats will take a more cautious and potentially conservative approach. But longtime legalization advocates aren't too worried yet. You know, I think change is not easy, um, but the past 80 years we've found a policy that's just been a failure. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News John 9.